Hello, I'm really glad to have you all here back from winter holidays. I hope you have a great start of the year and hopefully it will be better than previous ones and next one will be even better and so on. I decided to start uh, 2022 season of our reviews with a small technological marvel and uh, as it common, uh, commonly happens, it's made by Kane. You know that today we will talk about the new discrete R to R digital tonal converter root X, but a uh, few words uh, to share my uh, uh, my impression uh, by the actually by the fact of creating of this device you know sometimes it seems for me that uh, kane participate in some kind of uh, tiktok challenge or when they just uh, came out with some idea and implementing something that uh, no, nobody did before for example and sometimes it's not even tied uh, to pure electronics, but also to some level of mechanical engineering. For example, when they uh, created uh, KNN8, they have to solve uh, problems with tubes damping, with heat uh, dispersion, and uh, it was an interesting task. It, it's described on their website, you can check it out. And uh, then they decided to put the small R to R leather ma matrix to their Ken N6 Mark II, and they created R01. Unfortunately, I haven't test tested it, uh, but uh, probably uh, I've read really good impressions about that uh, model. And then they decided to go even further and create uh, this. Uh, digital tonal converter putting that R to R ladder even into smaller case uh, uh, providing the multi-bit sound on the go and uh, it's really hard to fit uh, that amount of uh, resistors inside of small shell provide uh, necessary digital signal transformation for that provide amplification and uh, so on and they not only managed to achieve that all uh, it's a really interesting device also in terms of internals check out their site i will add links uh, to the description it uses a double uh, six layer pcb to accommodate all the components and also it has a screen uh, control buttons it has single-ended and balanced output delivering 140 and 220 milliwatts for 32 ohms load actually balanced here if i understood right it's not truly balanced it just uh, pentacon output with higher power but if it does what we expect from the balanced out then i don't care of is it really true or not and the most surprising aspect of all that is that uh, price is uh, fairly reliable they decided to uh, to ask for it uh, 250 dollars i think that many companies would uh, select a higher price tire and for additional 20 dollars you can get a protection case and uh, for another 20 dollars you can get lightning cable to use it with uh, ios devices but enough talks this introduction was already pretty long let's have a closer look so, digital tonal converter came in a small box, looks okay, no, nothing super fancy, but looks uh, pretty pleasant. Inside there is digital tonal converter itself, and underneath some warranty card, manual probably here, some papers, not that interesting. and. Here, USB Type-C to USB Type-C cable and uh, adapter from USB Type-A to USB Type-C if you want to use it with uh, some desktop device. So, in terms of design, it's uh, not as small as some dongle digital tonal converters and that's why I think it, uh, it's not uh, truly dongle. But it's compact and uh, looks uh, pretty, pretty nice, not heavy, made of uh, metal, nice uh, shape, really solid, feels solid in hand, has 
uh, nice weight, uh, glass on the front panel, small screen and uh, control buttons and uh, USB Type-C here and uh, two outputs on the other side. As usual, uh, work here is uh, pretty obvious. So you connect one end to digital download converter itself and the second one to the source of signal. So USB audio connected, it uh, boots up. Of course, uh, due to roller shutter effect, uh, screen looks uh, flickery, but it's not flickery in, in real life. So on the screen it shows volume, gain, two modes, it has oversampling and non-oversampling mode. And currently it shows 384 kHz. Uh, it's not true because it's just music not playing now. But uh, once we will start a uh, playback, so let's go some folders, TF cards, just let it be the first one. Short press of menu turns the screen on and off, long go, uh, moves us to menu. In the menu you can, so here is short press, it uh, turns off the screen if you don't need it. Here is a long press in the menu. So. You can select the gain, high or low, sampling, oversampling or non-oversampling, backlight uh, duration time, and that's it. So just three items in the menu, but uh, still it's, uh, uh, it's all you need to control here anyway. And uh, another surprising thing about this uh, tiny digital tonal converter, it's actually not super power hungry. Uh, I probably I should buy some device for measurement, but in subjectively it's uh, average uh, in term comparing with other dongle digital to analog converters. But of course it's uh, highly depend it highly depends on the load and the gain here. And another uh, thing you need to be actually not aware, but it's uh, more of uh, feature of uh, how it's working when you change the volume every 10 steps there is a slight delay because it uses uh, discrete volume control here toggling uh, some resistors inside so probably it need uh, to uh, do some sl small changes for me it's absolutely not an issue but uh, some people mentioned that so i thought that i also have to mention it here but in general, as you can see, it's a really well-built device that uh, does its job uh, pretty nicely. Looks fancy, works also pretty well. And of course, let me briefly show you the protect, uh, protection case. Just some... Probably it's leather or uh, fox leather, I'm not sure. Is it... Uh, original one or not and a uh, few uh, mag magnet uh, magnet spots you can just uh, stick it to player and then you can attach digital tonal converter itself here so nice simple way of creating stacks and uh, actually case itself is pretty basic so let me push it this way if you want to protect that nice glass and metal surface so this way it goes inside all three buttons stays accessible and it's just protected and looks nicely and here is lightning cable, so it's even simpler, so connect one end to the digital converter and second to Apple device and you'll get the same uh, uh, R2R goodness with your iPhone. And of course about the sound, as earphones for example I will use Tin Hi-Fi P1 Pro and as a transport I will use Kane N3 Pro. Must say a few good words about it, like five months without charging on the shelf, and uh, 
it lo it lost just five or six percent of battery so pretty good uh, battery used here and uh, in terms of representation rule six uh, con just you know continue the Keynes idea it sounds musical emotional it's not trying to be super precise or mega analytical but at the same time of course it's pretty technical but uh, main bet here made on musical made on dynamics made on emotions and made on the uh, representations that i can probably call integral and fluid but at the same time it's uh, pretty precise so it, in general it shows a really good uh, level i don't like this word level because for me levels are a bit subjective but it shows really nice and well refined sound that i didn't expect from the compact uh, dongle and uh, let's uh, talk about uh, sound step by step so bass goes uh, pretty deep almost to maximum depth it's controlled really well it has a slight hint of added weight but in general it sounds uh, pretty fast and with good texturing but it's not trying to highlight that small nuances and overtones so it's uh, for those who uh, like a bit greasy a bit uh, wet low frequencies but not too much still resolution is here and uh, realistic instrument sounds nicely it shines uh, both with electronic music and with uh, acoustic instruments uh, almost equally and the uh, first example for the low frequencies is just uh, example of uh, pretty deep bass it's uh, the Antwerp cookie thumper track that is oriented to heavy low frequencies and uh, this small dongle delivers it with nice uh, punch and impact and the uh, second example is go back did i press the button second example it's deep purple strange kind of woman from uh, deluxe version of made in japan uh, i still really like this live uh, record and uh, in this uh, on this track they have nice uh, engaging uh, bass and that uh, slightly uh, massive representation of low frequencies that uh, this digital tonal converter delivers really fitting nicely both in terms of uh, enjoyment of this track and also in terms of uh, technical representation because uh, bass guitar sounds pretty realistic here mid frequencies are also on the musical side of things but uh, shows nice resolution it's not highlighting micro contrast and not trying to be clinical or analytical instead uh, this uh, small dongle highlight emotions highlight macro dynamics and also it uh, saturates uh, uh, instruments and vocal with overtones and uh, especially it's noticeable on the vocal because it uh, makes uh, voices sound more forward and more expressive and that sounds really engaging imaginary stage is above average in in width slightly above average in depth and noticeably above average in width so uh, it builds a pretty impressive stage even for some epic orchestral tracks uh, in terms of uh, uh, in terms of uh, uh, critical uh, for the record quality it's normal of course uh, something better record it would be nice for it but it doesn't uh, uh, sound super analytical so uh, with uh, some not properly recorded tracks it will sound still sound pretty enjoyable and uh, first example one for my my baby by Hugh Laurie so it's a good example of uh, pretty forward vocal sounds uh, engaging uh, really rich velvety smooth and pleasant but smooth not in terms of uh, losing some details uh, but uh, smooth in terms of general perception and second example of a really good vocal it's notre dame de paris bohemian uh, great uh, female vocal also rich with emotions rich with nuances and overtones that this tiny tiny digital tonal converter highlights and uh, plays and uh, 
treble is treble is slightly smoothed uh, it's uh, more noticeable in the oversamp in the non oversampling mode and uh, uh, slightly less uh, uh, noticeable in the oversampling basically for me it's the main difference between nos and oversampling mode in the non oversampling mode it smooths uh, high frequencies even further and uh, Oversampling makes it uh, cleaner and clearer with uh, slightly more noticeable layering. Layering is still pretty basic, but for $250, of course, it's still a really decent result. Extension is good and in general treble, treble sounds pretty realistic, but uh, don't expect uh, superb focused uh, on the micro contrast uh, treble it's uh, just represented in a more soft and polite way but at the same time uh, Kane engineers definitely manage not to over soft and low frequencies and uh, they sound nice with giving you all that uh, decays and uh, sense of the room and uh, first example for the treble it's flying drone from Hans Zimmer interstellar soundtrack and you heard this soundtrack I am almost confident that 100% of viewers heard it and uh, it's just a nice uh, orchestral tracks with a slight uh, uh, hint of ambient and uh, that sounds pretty impressive wide and uh, epic uh, and uh, with a lot of uh, of course overtones going to the treble area and this digital tonal converter plays them nicely not perfect probably but uh, pretty nicely and second example it's uh, uh, dream theater a nightmare to remember i like this track i like the the story that it tells and a lot of interesting uh, audio effects here and uh, nice uh, forward percussions and uh, with this dongle they sound uh, in a really proper way not too saturated but also not uh, over softened in terms of uh, pairings it's uh, pretty good it has plenty of power to drive even full-size cans of course not power hungry or super high impedance but still full-size cans sounds uh, pretty enjoyable with it and with sensitive IEMs, the background noise is pretty low. It's, it's audible, but for me it's barely audible. I've heard some complaints about background noise, like it's noticeable, but not too much. But I think it uh, depends on uh, Wi-Fi networks around, because I use 5 gig GHz and I experience interference uh, rarely. And... Uh, actually about the comparisons unfortunately i don't have anything to compare because uh, this uh, digital tonal converter uh, surpasses uh, all dongles that i've heard including lotu uh, s1 and i di uh, i didn't hear uh, main competitor luxury and precision w series unfortunately so i can't compare but uh, in general this is a really good digital tonal converter with unusual uh, representation that uh, one can probably expect from the multi-bit device delivering it nicely and uh, that combination of uh, weighty and dynamic representation actually set uh, this device aside not only from digital tonal converters but also from players of uh, middle segment because uh, they all sound uh, noticeably different to summarize everything if you're looking for the pretty high-end uh, portable digital tonal converter it can be a pretty safe choice and if you like musical re representation or if you want to experience something unusual I, it can be twice better choice in this aspect so thank you for listening, thank you for your attention and of course uh, have a nice day.